Hello everybody, my name is Dratnos, and in this video I'm going to show you how to do the Valley of Honor Lost Area in Horrific Visions. Uh, so if you're interested, you can check out my e earlier videos about the Corrupted Areas, the easier side zones, the Drag and the Valley of Spirits. Uh, and you can see my first video on the Lost Areas, which was about the Valley of Wisdom. Uh, which I don't necessarily think is easier than the Valley of Honor, but it's easier to get to, so I think it's a better one to start with. The Valley of Honor, by contrast, requires you to clear almost all of the drag. You don't technically have to finish the drag to get to this gate, but uh, you have to clear almost all the way up to get access to the Valley of Honor. But uh, it might be a little bit easier of a one to handle, especially if you have things like Poison Dispels in your group, or Stealth. Uh, stealth classes are pretty effective at this too, if, if you're soloing or if your whole group has Stealth. Um, then the Valley of Honor might be the easier lost area for you. Anyways, uh, let's get started. I'll show you the run that I did uh, that went to this side area. Uh, so I was playing, this was my Brewmaster's fourth run. I did not quite have the cheat death thing yet, so I was just playing with um, the first three points in the solo side of the tree, so 15% extra damage and reduced damage taken, uh, and the three sanity orbs, and that was all I had. Uh, but my Brewmaster has a pretty powerful corruption effect called Echoing Void uh, that does do a huge amount of damage. So this run starts off uh, like most runs do, I'm going to skip through much of the starting area uh, so that we can just get straight to the Valley of, uh, of Strength, but I do want to show you what these first pulls look like. Uh, so first pull was just kind of a big pull, then I ran back and went on top of the casters because otherwise they would stay back and keep casting on me from afar, uh, so made sure to kill off those Shaman in the first pull uh, so that I would then be able to move forward uh, and keep going later on into the pull. Uh, then after this pull was cleaned up, uh, we end up moving forward and just going straight to the drag. If you're interested in seeing my footage on how to do the drag, you, again, check out my earlier uh, Horrific Visions video, but I'm not going to be covering that in this one. Uh, we take care of the first mini-boss in the drag, we advance the story here, uh, and once you get through past this like last area here, this last piece of trash, uh, so Snang <laughs> is this thing's name, and the next trash area, uh, including a Kathir Dominator, by the way, that's an important mob to kick its touch ability. Uh, then you could go straight to the Valley of Honor, but since you're right here, you may as well just kill the Val the Corrupted Area mini-boss, because uh, it's easy to- you can teleport right back to Thrall from the Valley of, of Strength, so you want to just kill this mini-boss if you can. Uh, it's right on your way, it, it, it's not out of your way, so just kill the mini-boss first, uh, and then go straight to the Valley of Strength from there, uh, rather than trying to go to the Valley of Strength right now, is what I'd recommend for this one. It's a little bit different than the Valley of Wisdom strategy that I gave in my earlier video on that one, the, the second video in the Horrific Vision series. Uh, anyways, this thing dies nice and quick here, again, because my character is doing quite a lot of damage with Echoing Void, uh, which is extremely, extremely strong. If you're not a strong solo spec, uh, you may need to wait until you have a little bit more cloak level uh, and, you know, stuff before you can, you can attempt this run. Um, so cloak level and research in the tech tree. Uh, before you can tap this, you see here I'm looking to see if I can get to the Valley of Wisdom, but no, that, that is blocked off uh, from the drag, so the only one that you can go to here. By the way, that's the totem you can use to teleport back to Thrall if you want to, but uh, I didn't actually want to do that. Uh, so here's the way that you can get to the Valley of Strength now. Uh, and in the Valley of Strength, you're afflicted with split personality this week. When your screen flashes purple like that, that means that you're about to get a spawn or all around you, uh, except for one little open space of things that you can then dodge. Split personality won't be active every single week. Um, but it is active this week, and I didn't know that that was what it meant when my screen turned purple, so I, um, I got hit by basically every split personality in this run, but it was fine because my character is still doing huge amounts of damage, uh, with the, the Echoing Void, and that didn't get affected while I was disoriented, so it was fine. Uh, anyways, that first mob was Misha. Let me run back and just show you what Misha did here. Um, there's a couple of effects here that are doing damage, but the main thing to watch out for is this Maddening Roar. It's a three-second cast. If you get hit by it, you're going to lose a lot of sanity, and if you're playing in a group, you'll become hostile to your group, uh, so that's bad. When Misha dies, uh, as you're about to see here, uh, Misha turns into these three These three scarabs come out of the body. When these scarabs hit 20% health, they will start a cast, and if they finish that cast, it will also be bad. So you, you're going to want to kill them here, that ruptured, uh, ruptured shell thing. Uh, before they before they die or before what once they hit 20 percent you're supposed to you, you kill them before they finish that cast is the goal uh, anyways this zone has no percent count you can just skip as much of this trash as you want so if you're playing a stealth class you can just shroud through or s sneak through most of this some of the men enemies do have true sight misha notably has true sight and enemies will spawn from those orgamar guards corpses if you run on top of them uh, but if you're a competent stealther you can probably get through here without killing very much of this trash at all one mechanic also that is kind of shared through this whole place is Akir Venom. 
Uh, so if you'll see I have three stacks of this poison here. A lot of these casts will apply stacks of this poison. Once you get to five stacks, you'll get stunned. It doesn't do any sanity damage, but the stun can be problematic and it can make you stand in things that do sanity damage. For the most part, though, non-mini boss enemies don't really do sanity damage. Uh, only a couple of them really do throughout the Heroic Visions. The the main enemies that will do sanity damage are the mini bosses. So this is another mini boss here, the Akir Mindhunter. Um, this one just has a frontal breath that you want to dodge, uh, and these toxic volley, which is little swirlies that you want to dodge. Those will do sanity damage, I think, so do try and, and avoid those. Uh, but again, not, not too difficult to dodge that, especially if you're not fighting them with anything else. Uh, just try and dodge the split personalities when they come out. Again, split personality, that purple that's coming in from the sides of the screen right now, means that there's about to be a spawn of split personality. I didn't know that, so I was just getting hit by every single one of them. I was, I, it's just like, <laughs> I, I didn't know what the purple thing was on the screen, so hopefully you will learn from my mistakes and not have that happen to you. Uh, so now we just do in this last pack here. Uh, I'm I'm low on sanity orbs here, as you can see. I've got one sanity orb left, so uh, it's dangerous. I, I need to get through this and to thrall with my last sanity orb. So I'm, I'm things are a little bit sketchy, uh, but hopefully we're <laughs> we're going to be able to complete this. It's very close on time though. You, I'm draining sanity very quick here, especially with my cloak only at level three uh, for this run. Uh, so. After this, before we pull Rexar, I've decided to pull the sanity, to use the sanity orb. And one thing you'll see me do wrong here is I tried to pull Rexar onto the sanity orb, but Rexar will actually reset if you pull him out of his room. Uh, so this was a, a mistake. As soon as I as soon as I run out here, you can see Rexar just full resets. So that that cost us quite a bit of time uh, and not not ideal. It would have been better if I could have dropped the sanity orb inside. Anyways, let's talk about this Rexar fight. This is a pretty tough fight. Uh, at the start of the fight, he puts those three traps in the middle of the room. If you ever step on those, you're going to get stunned and lose a bunch of sanity, so try not to step on them. And then throughout the fight, he'll summon his uh, friends here, Huffer, Ruffer, Suffer, and Cthuffer. Uh, so try and... You, you want to kill those quickly because their Void Quills cast does a bunch of sanity damage to you. It does like 30 sanity damage each time any of them successfully cast Void Quills on you. So you'll see my sanity is just getting nuked down here uh, by all those things casting Void Quills. Uh, and then as this fight goes on, I'm trying to dodge these... Uh, there's these Stampede coming across that needs to be dodged, and I need to stay away from hitting the... Uh, from hitting the traps in the middle. And there's stuff that like knocks you back a little bit, so you got to be really careful of those. Uh, or else you will, you'll you'll be in big trouble because you'll get knocked back into a trap and you'll lose m a bunch of sanity. So you'll see that fight ended up costing me about 60% sanity. Very, very low on sanity now. Uh, and Thrall is empowered for each of the mini-bosses I killed. Uh, so doing this run with these two mini-bosses has empowered Thrall with the drags, the drag bosses like shield ability, where at 55% health he'll get a shield. Uh, and also with Thrall's, uh, with Rexar's two little beast adds. So... Uh, the first priority when you when you kill Rexar, if you're going to then fight Thrall, when you th fight Thrall, there I, I should say, is these two little spirit boars. Ne you need to make sure that these things don't just get to cast on you. Uh, the Void Quills cast is very problematic, so uh, you'll see there I AoE stun them. And you want to try and kill these boars before they start nuking your sanity away. You see the Void Quills cast going off on me and my sanity uh, going down a little bit there. Uh, but luckily they have died off with before too much trouble. All right, 55% health. This is the ability Thrall inherited from the Drag Mini boss. It, it shields him for uh, a bunch of his health, 25% of his base health, I think. And then at the end, it will explode for damage and sanity damage based on the amount of shield that was left. So you really want to try and DPS through that thing if you can. Uh, you'll see here I'm running very low on sanity. <laughs> very, very, very close to depleting this run. Uh, that bar is almost expired. Twitch chat, as you can see, just above me here, uh, is having is, is <laughs> very scared. But we did manage to get through. Uh, on my fourth run here, a couple hours after the patch came out, with defeating that lost side zone. I would not recommend this as your first side lost area. I think because you have to clear the corrupted area before you can attempt this, uh, it's pretty it's pretty spooky as your first one. But it's nice. It does give better rewards than the corrupted areas. In fact, a lost side area gives better than the rewards of two corrupted side areas. It gives you as much corrupted mementos and one extra spark. Uh, for your rank 3 essence, and it gives you your rank 2 essence from the Heroic Her Visions. Uh, so it is a worthwhile thing to do if you can do it, uh, but it is very spooky. So I hope this has helped you learn a little bit about, about the Valley of Strength side area. Uh, again, I'd recommend starting with the Valley of Wisdom one from my previous video. So if you haven't watched that, I'd go check that one out. Uh, I think that is, is a slightly easier side area to deal with uh, than the Valley of Honor one. But uh, anyways, that's, <laughs> that's the end of this one. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Uh, and check out my Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.